Welcome back to my channel, my name is Lisa and I'll talk in this video about the cost of living in the Netherlands. I thought about making this video for you guys, maybe some of you want to travel in the Netherlands in the next year or maybe move in the Netherlands and you are curious to find out more about the cost of living here. So the first thing I want to start is the rent how much is the rent in the netherlands well uh, this depends about the city that you live in like um, if you live in a very big city such as amsterdam and or rotterdam or den haag i'm sure you heard about these very big cities they are mostly known for the tourists that come here to visit a lot of wonderful museums and light festival and uh, the nightlife and the music and the everything it's amazing here of course and the cheese uh, is amazing but in these big cities also the rent is very high um, if you live let's say in Amsterdam and you are looking to find rent for uh, a room maybe you are a student the price for one room in Amsterdam in a share house where you need to share the bath and the kitchen and sometimes the living room the price can go up to around uh, 600 euros for just for one room if you decide to move here and uh, you are not interested in living in a very big city, maybe in a smaller city next to the big city, um, you can find better deals for the rent. Like, uh, let's say you can rent an apartment with three rooms for around uh, 700 euros. In the apartment they don't put the living room as a room. If you search for a three room apartment then you receive three bedrooms with an extra living room, bath and kitchen as well. So this is a thing that you need to consider when you are searching for apartments. Another very important thing is that every year the price is going higher with 10% uh, because they take in consideration that also your salary if you are working in the Netherlands is growing every year with around 100 euros. Another thing that you should know is the price for the gas and energy uh, gas and energy they come together in a contract and when you sign the contract everything is online of course you don't need to really sign a contract you just need to say yes and maybe at the phone or um, at the website and then that co is considered a signature uh, this is something that you need to be aware of that if you're on a phone call with a um, supplier of gas and energy they can take your yes as a signature so uh, <laughs> this is something that you need to be very careful of but this amount is calculated from the supplier it's an estimated cost that you will pay every month uh, they are thinking about how much gas and energy are you going to spend on every month so that is how they will decide your price um, and at the end of one year they they will tell you if you uh, consumed more than the amount that you spend every month then they'll give you a bill and uh, you need to pay that extra amount of money or if you used less gas or energy then they'll give you the amount extra that you paid back into your account the minimum amount that they are going to tell you that you need to spend is around 150 euros every month but it's a thing that you need to take in consideration that here the gas the gas is 
extremely expensive. So I think that I recommend is to use all the energy for all the things you need in your house, including the heating system. Another thing that you need to know about the cost of living is the water. As we already know, the um, uh, Netherlands is under the sea level and that is why the water is extremely cheap. The water is paid uh, one time in three or four months, let's say, and uh, you are spending around seven euros per month for the water. You can make like 10 showers a day, wash all your dishes with the uh, water from the sink, so I say after three months you will need to pay around 20 euros or something, so not that much. Because the Netherlands is extremely organized, they recycle almost everything. So you have separate garbages, one garbage is for paper, a garbage for plastic, uh, you have garbage for uh, plants or um, vegetables and fruits, and you have a uh, garbage for uh, glass and you have a garbage for metal and if after all these you still have extra garbage that you cannot put in one of these categories then you receive a card from the government and with this card you have a um, garbage place that is underground of course uh, with an opening and you put your card and your text one euro for every 30 liters garbage that you put in there um, so i deeply recommend to organize your garbage so that you don't need to pay anything at the end of the year uh, the garbage you are not paying every month uh, you are not paying every three months you are paying once an year and uh, then is when they are calculating how many times you used your card and um, if there's something extra that you want to buy like let's say a new garbage bin uh, for the outside for your um, paper or for your uh, vegetable things so this is for the garbage it's not that expensive and most of the things they do recycle and they respect very much the environment and uh, you can see people on the streets that they are not paid for doing that but just because they are taking very good care about the environment that they live in they'll go and gather things from the ground of course not with the hand and with the glove no they have a special stick for that and uh, they will pull out um, things with a stitch and put it in the garbage uh, if you have a pet, let's say like a dog, uh, I made another video about having pets in the Netherlands with taxes and everything you need to pay for that. They are also providing you free plastic bags for the dog and also free plastic bags for the plastic um, garbage. Another thing that is included in the cost of living in the Netherlands is of course the internet uh, wi-fi or television price you need to make a personal contract on your name uh, with a supplier that is offering uh, internet like let's say uh, kpn or something else uh, and the, if you want a good speed for your internet and you're not really interested in the TV or something, you will be spending around uh, 55 euros per month for the internet only. If you want TV uh, and something else, you will need to pay a little bit more than that amount. Also, a thing that you need to know is then if you make a new contract on your personal name, even if you have in the house that you are renting uh, Wi-Fi, the moment you are making a new contract on your name, then they will come and will install another one just for you with a cost of around 150 euros. So you need to take in consideration this aspect as well. Another cost that you must have in the Netherlands is uh, life insurance. You need life insurance 
for your work you cannot work if you don't have a private life insurance so this is included in the cost of living and i made a complete um, video about work in the netherlands uh, if you are interested to know more about that make sure to check down the link in the description box i put a link with working in the netherlands buying a car in the netherlands and uh, all the aspects this include and of course owning a pet in the netherlands with the cost and everything you need to know uh, so about the life insurance all these things that you need a contract for i made very simple online you just fill in your details and everything uh, comes in your post or at your email uh, account your life insurance usually cannot go lower than 150 euros and can go high as much as you want uh, you basically are adding everything extra that you want uh, with this amount that um, around 150 is not included the dentist so everything you want to do at the dentist is not included if you are a woman going to the hospital to give birth is not an option if you don't have at least 5000 euros because all the all the hospitals here are private so they are offering very good service but it's also quite expensive um, or you want to give birth at home um, this is very common in the Netherlands for women to give birth at home um, I find it a little bit strange because in my country that never happens <laughs> um, always all the ladies are going at the hospital to give birth of course but here in Netherlands is different or um, if you are thinking that let's say in a period or two or three years you want a baby and you want to go at the hospital uh, and you don't want to uh, gather your money until you reach five or six thousand uh, euros for the hospital then you can add this to your life insurance and your life insurance then will be a little bit bigger of course than 150 maybe you reach 250 or something so giving birth at the hospital as a woman here in Netherlands is quite expensive another thing that you will need in the Netherlands is the internet on your phone so for this there are two options one of them you buy a number and um, these numbers come with the card of course and you put whenever you want uh, money on it you cannot put less than 10 years and this money that you want if you want to put like this money on your uh, number whenever you want not to pay a contract a monthly contract um, you go at a, a shopping center or at the grocery store and then you can find uh, 10 15 20 or even 30 euros to put on your phone number and the second option is when you want a contract let's say you want a new phone like uh, the latest iPhone or something or the latest Samsung if you are a fan of Samsung or Huawei or whatever phone uh, then you go at the company they make a contract and uh, then you have not unlimited you have limited amount of internet and gigabytes and uh, talking to people in different countries as well but this can go up to 100 or something years depends if you buy a phone also but if you don't buy a phone you just want to have monthly amount of internet and phone calls on your number then you'll pay at least around 49 50 or 55 euros so this is about the phone the last thing i want to talk about is having a car uh, this is a very big subject but in the netherlands uh, of course you will need a car even though 90 percent of the people have bikes 
uh, going with the bike is an extremely common, extremely efficient uh, way of going to place A to place B uh, on a re relatively short distance. They have extremely well done roads, especially for the bikes. Uh, you can buy bikes uh, from 50 euros up to 1,000, uh, 2,000 euros if it's an electric bike, of course. But you can find uh, very quick bikes here. But if you want a car, uh, I made a video uh, buying a car in the Netherlands with all the taxes and everything, insurances and everything. If you want to know more about that, make sure to check the link down in the description. Uh, but what can I tell you now is that they have a lot of taxes and you need to pay uh, insurance if you want a car of course you need to register your car, car at the government and I strongly suggest that if you are not having a salary over 2050 euros to try to buy an electric car because then you will pay way less for your electricity every month of course because you're not using gas it's electricity then you don't have road tax that is a very big thing here in the netherlands uh, quite expensive and um, also you can find now uh, cheaper versions of electric car as well so this is my recommendation for you about the car so i want to thank you all so much for watching this video i hope i offered enough information feel free to write a comment down in the comment section uh, give me thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video